going on guys so let's fix this sign let's get it going this is my new LED exit sign uh, that I'm going to install in my shop uh, so far I've gotten it somewhat put together um, I've gotten the power switch and all that wired up the next thing I need to do is connect the internal battery which is here and then I have all of these wires a red a green a black so I got four different wires, uh, ground, hot, 240, 120 is what it is. Um, if you direct your attention over here, we have the instructions. This is the mounting plate, okay? Now what's cool about it is, is that you can hang this sign from the top, from the back, or from the side, which is a really cool thing. Uh, this is the plate for it. This plate just kind of, uh, you mount this to the wall and then the mount bracket mounts to that. Um, you have some hardware and some screws and stuff. I am not sure what these are. They look like electrical pass-throughs. But the instructions don't mention these in the kit. So, I'm not sure because you got a 2 to a 1. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look into it. And then there was some wires provided. Uh, another three Which is also kind of confusing because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wire it straight up But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing figured out um, And go from there. I have two different types of head plugs here I got one without a ground and then one with the ground now since the instructions are so effin vague Meaning you think if you were to wire all this shit up They would they would tell you it they would explain it to you. But look, there's nothing. It Even down here when you explain it, it says if you're using 270 volt, use the, uh, use the red lead. If you're using 120 volt, use the black lead and the white lead goes to ground. That's it. That's all it tells you. And then on the back side, like this fucking diagram really helps. You're right. That shows me absolutely nothing. And then if you read all of this crap, it's just, it's common sense bullshit. Don't touch it while it's on. Let it cool down before you touch it. Don't touch a positive to a negative. Don't do, I mean, it's common sense shit. But as far as wiring it, I mean, they give more information on how to mount the damn thing to the wall than how to wire it. Seriously, guys, if you're going to make a damn instruction manual, make it useful. Fuck. With that being said, it says put the green and white together. There you go. I got green and white together. And then I have my red and my black. So I guess I won't be using this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that you take this one. All right, and you put these two together like so. And then these two leads run off to the power. Now, what you do with red is you cap it and you leave it elsewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cap it like that. See, it doesn't come off, it's pretty strong. That way, it's not touching the aluminum or shorting shit out while we're playing with it. Okay, so this, this lead is stripped, this lead is not, so I'm gonna have to get my wire snippers and cut that real fast. Better, okay. So we're gonna take our, what is this? I don't even know what this goes to, I'm unplugging it. So we're gonna take it and we're just gonna clip it. Well, I'd say about right there, boom, perfect. And then you always wanna twist them, unless you're braiding, which we're not braiding these right now, we're just gonna twist them like so, okay. So I got my white and I got my black. We're going to try this one first. Basically what's going to happen, guys, is if, if I do it wrong, it won't turn on. So I'm not sure which side is the positive or the negative in here. Usually the bigger end, like you know there's a small one and a bigger one. Usually the bigger end is the positive side and then the smaller end is the negative. It could be reversed, don't hold me to it, but I believe that's how that goes. So I'm just gonna 
Oh, that's cool. It comes apart like that for me. So I'm just going to loosen it. And we're just basically going to wrap it inside that screw there. Make like a little... Make like a little hook like that so it, it hoops and loops around the screw like so. See that? So that way it grabs the screw and then you just tighten it down over it. Boom. Just like that. See? You can learn something from my channel. All 26 people that watch it. Which I don't get that. I got 800 subscribers and my views just don't say that. And I, I don't know. You know, one thing I will say though about my channel is that I've noticed that my videos are not repeat watches. Meaning once you watch the video, you really don't have, I guess, any interest going back to that video and watching it. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but we'll find out. But yeah, if you guys would share my videos on Facebook, and then what you can do is you can go into my playlist, right? Like my ATEC PCs playlist, and just hit play, put the volume on mute, and just let the videos run. That way I'll get views and watch time and everything else. And you guys would be helping me out more than you know it. All right, I need to get this on there. Okay, so I got them both attached. And it looks like it just goes like that back together. Okay, like that. Um, you think I should plug in the battery? Or not? It didn't say to not or to not plug it in. It didn't say nothing about that shit. I guess I'll plug it in. Oh, wow. Hey, look. The battery works. Cool. That's essentially how it's going to look, guys. Doesn't that look awesome like that? Hell yeah, that looks cool. Excellent. Alrighty. All right, moment of truth. Either it's going to work or it's going to not work. Okay, it's plugged in. It's plugged in and working, but I still think it's fighting off the battery. Oh, look at that. Battery disconnected. It's working. It says ready. Push to test. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so let's hook the battery back up and see if I can't. Okay, now let's push it. Oh yeah, sweet. That's too cool. Okay, so that's how you wire it. I got it. Yeah, so this is nothing. You put red and green together into a white, and then black is his own. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's put it back together and try to hang it somewhere. Okay, so before you pass these wires through, you want to take this nut and go like this. And put it through because the stupid nut. has to be threaded through this pipe. So now we can reinsert our wires, our pass-throughs. 
Okay, we got our nut. See, we got our nut right there in the back. That will go like this. The wires. Which way does this fucker go on here? I think it goes that way. Oh, so you gotta push both of the plus throughs out. Okay. Because it has a little notch on it. So it sits like that. Okay, so this must get passed through these. So you don't make don't make the mistake I did and put it all together and then find out that you gotta push all this stuff through these little openings. Huh. <laughs> Cause I figured that one out, didn't I? Alright, so it goes like that. Okay, so this threads up. This will thread up to that nut that's right there inside. And just kind of thread it on the best you can. Yeah, that works like that. Okay. And then these get passed through again. Through this. Through that. Like that. Alright, like this. Then it looks. What is it? Thread on there? Oh my god, it does! Shit. Alright, so it threads. Cool, we can just kind of turn it. I'll hold the other side. Ah, don't scratch up the paint job now, damn it. Like that. And then you tighten up the other nut on the other side of the bolt. And that should tighten the two. So you kind of have to hold it. Alright, so the bracket's in. I got our nut pushed up and tightened. This is what holds the whole thing together, so that needs to be tight. Alright, tight as I can get it. Okay, we'll just shove all that crap back in it. Like that. Dokie. Now, the fun part, putting this aluminum shell, putting this aluminum shell back on it. That's going to be the fun part here. And it kind of lips together. There's like a lip on the bottom and a lip on the top. Which you'll clearly see the lip. Right? Isn't that how it goes? It's always so much fun to try to figure these out. Oh, there's an inside lip to it. I got it. Okay, so just push them back together. Push that back up there. Now y'all know damn well if freaking Linus Tech Tips was sitting here doing this shit, he'd get like a couple million views out of it. I'm gonna be lucky if I get a hundred out of it. 
but I also don't have 10 million subscribers and my U channel my YouTube channel isn't you know 12 years old either you know Linus was been at it shit man back in 2008 and so I think that's when that boy started that channel I actually saw him one time I didn't pay no attention to his ass either had no idea who he was or nothing and then somebody was like that's Linus and that was back in like 2013 he was uh, he was at an airport and to me he was just some to me he was just some dude standing there you know I didn't really care who he was but I started watching his videos and then uh, that's where I found Jay and Bitwit and everybody else but my favorite YouTube channel is Neves Gaming. That's my favorite YouTube channel. I love watching Neves Gaming. All right, so there it is. Mount it, ready to go. I forgot to put the other back plate on, which goes here. Like that. All right, so it's done. Now we just got to figure out how to hang it. My question is, is what are these lines in there? Is there a film on it? No. No, there's no film on it. That's just the way it is. All right, let's flip it back over. And we gotta reconnect our our neutral and shit. It doesn't matter which hole you plug it into, it's all the same. Just stick her in there. Push it down tight until you hear like a little click. I may have broke this one from jerking it open three times. Yeah, I think I busted this one up. Yeah. Can you hear it rattling? It's not supposed to do that. Oh my God, there's pieces coming out of it now. Okay, so that's fine, we got another one. So anyway, yeah, just plug your two ends in. Like that. Like that. This one. Okay. Now what we gotta do is far wiring this up. I need to figure out where we're going to mount this at and how uh you know this goes in like that. It holds it at these two points. The bracket will go in like this and hold it at these two points, but I gotta secure this bracket to something and able to hang the sign so let's figure that part out and I'll be back with you guys so I was gonna put this exit sign above my door but it's pretty obvious where the exit is in this garage so then I thought about maybe I should just use it for decor it would look cool on the wall especially against a back black drop also I found these stickers in here these are arrow stickers uh, I assume that they're supposed I assume that they're supposed to go like this on it. But what really threw me for a loop was these. For directional indication, place a provided chevron sticker inside the template and then remove it. So if I wanted to make a template on something, I guess I could. I don't know. We'll just use these. We'll just take them and we'll stick them like that on either side of the exit sign. But anyway, I thought I thought that it would look really cool right there up against the wall because when you walk in the garage, you'll see it. And then plus there's a power port right there. Uh, so I think that's where we're gonna put it, is right there. And if I don't like it, we can always remove it, guys. Okay, so what I had to do was since this is gonna be flush, I had to cut out a space.
for the wires to pass through. So now I can hang it. Oh yes, awesome. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I think it really adds to the wall. Man, that looks too cool. Leave me a like if you guys like it. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. If not, I'm gonna send Dark Vader after you. And remember, always wear your helmet. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching me. New exit sign, looks cool. You know, even from a distance, when you walk in. So, you know, you turn off the lights. Does it look straight? It does look straight. Cool, excellent. And then of course I have everything on switches. So like, let's see over here, I can turn that off. I can turn it back on. And then one more thing, one more thing. See, I put the Batman there. Put the Batman there. And then I put the Spider-Man there. All right, you guys be cool. I'm out. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. We'll see y'all in the next one.